Hello and welcome back. Today I wanted to set up a mock or a model biogester, a small mini version to show how I'm going to complete this operation because this has been a topic of discussion on my channel lately and it's very interesting to me also and I've done a ton of research and gained some more knowledge that I want to share with everybody. So before I show this little mock setup, I want to talk about the whole process and the thoughts involved with this. Growing up in the Western world, we are taught that waste from humans, animals, plants, and or otherwise is to be discarded at all costs. If we take that wasted resource and use it to create our own fuel as fossil fuels are becoming more scarce and more expensive, we can create a lot more self-sufficiency in ourselves and with our own homestead. We could be collecting all of the fuel from all of those waste byproducts and still return the organic matter to the land as fresh rich compost after the process is complete. Methane is created from the anaerobic fermentation of organic matter anaerobic being no oxygen involved. Now aerobic composting has lots of heat involved in it but little methane and I thought that we created a decent amount of methane with hot composting but it's very very minimal. There is not a whole lot because of the oxygen being present when your compost is burning hot. It has to have oxygen to burn real hot so the oxygen doesn't even allow the methane to be created other than in pockets in your compost where it is gone anaerobic. Now anaerobic composting creates a lot of biogas. It creates methane and CO2 about 60% methane and about 40% CO2. But with anaerobic composting, you create very little heat. And the methane we produce from anaerobic composting is basically the same as natural gas that we already use to heat our homes. Now there's two main ways that I see doing this. A large solid barrel for small organic matter and liquids for a slurry type system to harvest your methane from. Or we could use a bio bag digester type system where you fill it up one time with large solid organic materials and then you empty it out when it is completely done. So since we don't create a whole lot of methane with our hot compost systems, I probably won't even try and harvest the methane off of it. I was under the impression, like most others, that we created a lot of methane when we composted materials, but only anaerobically. So I want to go over some BTUs and explain what BTUs are. So BTU stands for British Thermal Unit, and it is the measurement of the amount of heat uh, energy source or fuel can produce. It is equivalent to the quantity of heat required to heat one pound of water to boiling temperature based on water being at its highest density roughly around 39 degrees Fahrenheit. So I want to share the daily BTU accrual for some common farm animals. So in one day an average adult human creates about one cubic foot of methane from their body, resulting in 600 BTUs or enough energy to heat one kettle of water. So one chicken creates about half of a cubic foot of methane per day, about 300 BTUs or about enough to heat about half a kettle of water. One cow creates about eight feet of cubic methane per day, resulting in about 4,800 BTUs, 4,800. And that's enough to boil about four and a half to five kettles of water in one day. Now, if you have pigs, Pigs create about nine or more cubic feet per day for one animal, resulting in about 5,400 to 5,500 BTUs. And that's about five to six kettles of water per day. So pigs definitely create the most methane from their feces. So now that I've covered all that, the reason I created this is because I wanted to get my bearings for capturing methane and how this whole process works before I actually light a fire. So the reason I wanted to do this small scale at first with this old recycled kitty litter container is because a biogester requires about body temperature to operate and produce the methane. If I can take our container and set it next to our compost and kind of insulate it next to it, I can passively heat it up from our compost and create methane for free in the winter time. Normally it takes about seven days to a month to start creating decent amount of methane to where it's worthwhile to harvest and burn it. But with it being so cold here, I want to kind of just test this out and see how well I can get this to work in our environment. Now when methane is burned, it can pull carbon out of the air and the byproducts of methane being burned is CO2 and water, both naturally occurring in our atmosphere. And we can reduce methane release from all of our farms and farm animals and our own waste by recapturing it and using it as a fuel source for ourselves. And that benefits our planet because on a molecular level, 
methane holds 200% more infrared opacity. So it holds on to 200% more infrared heat than CO2 does. Thus why methane is such an issue in our atmosphere holding all that heat and allowing it to heat up much, much more. So I just wanted to show the simplicity of this. It looks like a little cluster here, but it is very simple to do. And I'm going to explain the process of creating your own little biogester. We have our main line coming from our actual biogester here, this empty bucket that we will fill with methane creating organic matter. So this methane is going to run up this tube and to both of these lines. This one is for our storage tank. This is just a free bike inner tube that I had and it is going to hold a little bit of methane but not very much. This is just an experiment. The other line runs down to this ball valve. So we will be able to turn the flow of gas on and off. So this part right here is where our fuel will exit. We have it cinched off so all the fuel will hold in this line and store in our storage until we release it to be burned and this is where we will connect to our burning apparatus so i've got a ton of ideas i want to share i have this free little grill lighter and i may be able to use the actual electric start on it also with a small battery so this will eventually be what i burn on when i have my large system set up which i plan on using my rain barrel behind me so we're using these little barbed nipples here in order to connect our hoses and I have a few different ideas on ways to achieve this without having to buy expensive parts. So this right here is a quick release for your air hose. If I figure out a way to hook this up at the top of my bio gesture when I actually create my large one, I will be able to have the actual siphon of the methane be a quick release. So I will be able to hook right into it and then unhook if I want to. And that goes all around. I would be able to run lines and hoses and be able to quick release all of them as an interchangeable system. One more quick thing, on your inner tubes, you have this little pin just like in your car tires or any inner tube and this little plug holds the air in. You have to unscrew it to be able to allow airflow in and out without having any type of pressurization or having to push this pin down in order to put air or release air. I hope this was helpful and interesting to everyone. I just wanted to get my bearings for this and I'm going to start a small scale biogester here hopefully produce a little bit of methane and hopefully be able to show everybody burning it. If anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out. We will gladly answer those questions. And if anybody has any input, I know I have a lot of well-informed subscribers, so I would love input on this system or on the large system. I know this is just kind of all DIY recycled materials, a few new little parts, but for the most part, it's just stuff I already had in my garage.